In tonight's KX Conversation, we're talking all things caves. We're learning about cave systems that can be found right here in our state. And Murphy from the North Dakota Geological Survey joins us now. Ed, thanks for being here. Hi, good to be here. Now, Ed, caves tell us a lot about the geological history of the area. So what do our caves tell us about North Dakota? Well, you know, we don't have the typical geology that you need for caves, which is, which are big, thick, uh, pretty old, hundreds of millions of years old limestones that have been eroded by over millions of years acidic water flowing through them. And so our caves, instead of being solution, uh, resulting from solution, they're really from erosion. And when we head out to the Badlands, we see a lot of these small caves. Tell us about what's called, uh, what, are, what are referred to as erosional pipes. So erosional pipe, because our rocks uh, at the surface in western North Dakota are so soft, uh, water is able to flow through them fairly easily. And so they, it erodes relatively quickly, and you'll get pipes that, that uh, often the entrance is very small, but the exit is very large. Uh, the entrance will be up halfway up the slope or, or higher on, on a butte, and the exit will be right at the base of the butte and be very large. In fact, you can often walk in or crawl in, uh, but uh, it's actually quite dangerous because they they collapse uh, fairly readily. That's how they, they grow in size. Ed, what do caves offer plants and animals native to our state? So the, um, you know, quite often skunks, raccoons, Rabbits, you'll, you'll see rabbits I've seen many times. I've seen bull snakes, rattlesnakes go into these. Um, so whether they're going in there just to, uh, to avoid me or other humans, or if that's where they've got uh, uh, dens. But typically it would not be a really good place because the minute you've got a lot of rain, it gets focused in there. And uh, so they quite often would get, would get uh, washed out. Nowadays, I suppose some people might look at a cave and go, wow, that is a rather big cave, but they have no idea. I, I guess uh, it was used a long time ago specifically by Native Americans, maybe the early settlers. Well, we know that in Billings County, ice caves, often called O'Brien's ice cave, was used early 1900s, uh, was discovered, and then it was, at some point after that was used for to store meat. Uh, but that was really relatively short-lived. The reason was is the ice in the, um, you would get ice build up over the winter and it was so well insulated, the ice would stay into the summer. And so the rancher uh, hung beef in there and uh, which what I read worked pretty well, except uh, he had troubles with, with all the uh, other animals that were able to get in there and uh, help themselves to that meat. Ed Murphy, thank you once again for joining us today. Sure, you, you bet.